All right. So Ed Boone's been a little bit, a little bit excited today. I'm going to split the video just because uh, I want to dedicate a little bit more time to the Pulsey Shed. But uh, this is sort of another official look of, at Ferrer, uh, one half of Ferrer Tour, obviously. Uh, starting with this closer look at Cameo Fighter Ferrer and MK1, she plays unlike any Cameo Fighter in the game, and we can't wait for you to check her out. So I'm assuming what they mean by that is that she is going to... I mean, I, I hope not, but I have a feeling she's going to be riding bitch. Right? She's she's gonna be she's gonna be riding bitch, right? That's what's gonna happen. She's gonna be on your back the whole time. I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that at all. Anyway, we also have a look at her like it's only a sneak preview at her fatality. Right? So she jumps up, it looks like she's got her her twin blades straight into the eyes and then drags it like over the back of the head and down it looks like perhaps that's how it appears anyway right so it, it seems it, i mean it looks like we're getting a little bit more sort of advertising too you know, did, they, did they free up some budget or something right but um so it looks like in this shot here uh, so she definitely looks more adult here than she did previously, right? Or at least to me anyway. Um, definitely way more adult looking. I still want to make sure she's an adult though, right? Um, over her MK10 iteration. She's got the white hair. Because um, I've been reading the comments that people have been making, like leaving them on the Ferret video that I did. So I've been learning a lot about... Um, you know, the backstory. Because again, like I didn't play much of MK10. I've got a video I've got to do about why I didn't play much of MK10. Um, and it's probably for weird reasons you guys will probably think, but that's okay. There's also a, like a really good sort of like look at her claws there. They look really good. Um, obviously, because it's a cameo, we're only going to be getting different colors, not different costume types. I mean, look, we might. They might eventually do it. Uh, for her and other cameos, but because I think the only one that we have available It's the Kung Lao one, isn't it? Isn't Kung Lao the only cameo with an alternate costume or am I mistaken? Am I mistaken or was that or was that main cameo? Was that a main character cameo? Sorry, a main costume for Kung Lao That was on the cameo. I don't know. It's, fucking, it's so long ago. I can't even remember, right? Um you know the vibes I'm getting from this though is like um Aloy. Right? Aloy! Hello! Right? That's the vibes I'm getting from this chick. Uh in this particular pose. Right. Feral little piece of what well, anyway, right? So uh so yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. I'm assuming then we're gonna be getting the Homelander slash Ferra trailer maybe soon what are we up to now may right so we got may uh so we should definitely be getting homelander this uh yeah this month and then Ferrer the beginning of next month and then uh or mid next month and then maybe takeda at the end of the month next month or are they going to drop takeda in july because Ferrer is the last cameo yeah. Yeah. So, is she the last cameo? Yeah. Yeah, because we've had... Now I'm trying to think. God, this is how much I give a shit. So we've got... Movado, Janet, Farah, um, Chameleon, uh, hang on. Hang on. Movado, Tremor, Janet, Movado, Tremor, Janet, Farah, and Chameleon. Yeah, so it is five. Um, yeah, so this will be the last cameo. Um, and then we got still more two character drops. So I'm really hoping that we get at least Homelander out of the way this month. Please drop to Kata next month. And then what I'm really excited to see is where we're going from here in regards to the future of MK1. It feels like things might be turning around, but I really want to see it for myself. Like I'm really hoping that they will. I want to be excited about MK. 
we might even get some major gameplay changes. You never know. They might have been leaving things for a while, you know, getting through all the comps and stuff, and then they'll be like, right, this is what we're doing. This is what we're giving you. So, I don't know. One thing I'd actually like, I know this is off topic to Ferra, but what I'd really love is the two dragons in the background, if they do bring out story DLC, that that whole scene is changed. Like the dragons might be destroyed, flames, like darkened sky, lightning and stuff like that. Bring back that uh, MK Deception sort of atmosphere. You know, when you go to MK Deception's main menu, you kind of got like the temple or something, lightning and thunder and... Oh, that's what we need, dude. Not this serene, you know, massage parlor music shit. So, but anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think of Ferro. Catch you next time.